What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and once a great power lifter once said, there's no point of being alive if you cannot do deadlifts. Even though we're armisters, we're still going to do some deadlifts. Today I'm going to show you some variations that you can do with fat grips. This is a really great way to straighten your wrist, your finger strength and your grip. Uh, when we're talking about weights, it's about 50 or 60% what you will pull without these uh, handles because the grip is taking so much and uh, there are some goji reflexes at work that will prevent you from pulling more until your grip strength is better so let's get to the setup and exercises different different uh, deadlift stances will put the uh, fat grips either wider or closer together so I like to pull in sumo style, but uh, when I'm putting fat grips on, I will pull, pull in classic. Variations how to take a grip. So there's a full grip where you take this uh, basically with full grip and you're squeezing together. This is better for everyone who wants just to increase your grip strength. This is not the best variation for arms. Of course you can use this, but it's like if you're taking your arm apart, this is what you're doing. We're never holding this big hand. Maybe if you're pulling against a plank or somebody who has this big hand. But anyway, we're using, we need this. So I recommend using cup grip in, in like this and cup grip and uh, your wrists will be bent slightly, but never extended. You will never, never work like this. You always need to do it like this or like this. So. I recommend using cup grip. You will start by putting your arms under, squeezing with your fingers, and then just a normal pedal. There's a variation where you're taking underhand grip like this and doing the same motion. And if you're badass enough, you can do this with one arm. But uh, I recommend this doing with two arms. So. Here, uh, it, you, you can work from 1 to, a, I don't know, to a 20. So 1 to 20 reps. If you want to just find out how good your grip strength is for one, uh, one rep max, use it, test it out. If you want to overwork your forearms, do it. We usually start with this one. When we're working on our fingers, we, we will do some kind of deadlift variation. So, uh, all the body is working and your fingers are getting more work than everything else. So, after this exercise, you are already exhausted, so your body needs to work more. Uh, in, in, in the last few weeks, we've been working, uh, we're doing, we, we're starting by doing fat grip deadlifts and then six or seven exercises just for the fingers, for the wrist. So, at the end, uh, your arms are, and fingers are destroyed, your wrists are just destroyed for five days. But uh, in my experience, this is the best way to grow. You need to, you need to really overwork. They're, they're, now, they're, now not, they're not such thing as overtraining, you just need to overwork it. So, uh, again, so cup grip, back straight and straighten up. This is the most basic thing you can do to, if you're, if you're for honestly, you don't use that much whole body exercises. This will work your whole body, give you that uh, testosterone boost or everything else that you need and also will work mostly on your grip. In Armisling we don't do that much of a full body workouts. You don't, we don't do that much of a squats or lunges or, or, or just deadlifts. And I think this is the one of the best exercises you can do to really have a good workout for your body. We'll start with this one and then we go to the more to the armistice specific training because I think we need to have healthy, good, strong bodies to, to go better, to go farther, to be stronger. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.